Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, M. Graham Sews. This little video is very different because I wanted to do a sample video for you all to show you how my new diffuse lights look and how my new microphone sounds. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you may have seen the photo that I posted of these and I thought I should do a little sample video because I'm really excited to share this with you all and I don't want you all to have to wait until I film the tutorial. So Buddy here is going to be our sample. This is how it's going to look with the objects on my table so it's a lot brighter or at least I find it is I like the way it looks on the um, computer when I'm looking at my computer screen and I just find that it's not as harsh and there's not I mean there's still a spotlight because I'm still using the one light that's on my wall but I don't find things are lit up in certain areas if that makes sense there's not these big spotlights on things and it's not as harsh the only thing that is hard for me is that the lights are so close to me and the way they're pointing down or pointing this way, it's almost in my face or it is in my face. And I just find it's a little bit hard on my eyes. So it's just a bit of an adjustment for me to get used to these lights being here. But overall, I really like it. I like how it looks. I feel that the colors, especially like if you look at Buddy's little collar here, I feel like it really helps the colors pop a little bit more. So I do like that. Um, I have them set up. My husband helped me set them up. So they're not in my way. So hopefully that's a little bit easier for me um, because they're not in my way. The one light that I did have was on my table. So it took up a little bit of space and I found I was losing some space. So now these aren't on my table. They're out of the way. They're kind of tucked away, not in my way. So the other thing is, is the microphone. This is a wireless microphone, which I decided to go with that because if I go with a microphone that has a cord, what ends up happening is I get tripped up. So I tried my husband's headphones to see one day if I could do it with a cord and I was getting tripped up and falling. And if I have a cord, there's more chances of me falling because it gets tangled in my leg or on my cane or whatever. So I really don't want to fall and hurt myself. So I decided a wireless mic was the best way to go. Now I know there's ones that could clamp to my table. My table does have a bit of a lip on the side here, so it wouldn't really work because of the way that lip is. And then I would have something on my table and then hanging over me and it would just get in my way. And I just, I just thought easiest to go with a wireless mic. And this does come with two. So I do have the two when one dies. However, when this one dies, which I learned in a tutorial, there's no audible sound. There's no warning, no nothing. It just dies. So, what happened was I was filming a tutorial and I'm going along and I'm sewing away and then my camera flicked and then turned off and I thought, oh, that's weird. It stopped recording. So then, and it was just a total coincidence that that had happened. I don't know why that had happened, but I went and I looked and I realized for a few minutes of that video, the microphone was off and not recording. So there was no sound. So I had to go back and re-record that but it's not as easy as just plugging in the other microphone and then going again. It doesn't work that way. I had to restart everything to get the other one to work. So in that video, it has this microphone. And then at the end, when I switched this out and went back to finish recording, it went back to my old microphone on the camera. So we have a little bit of that video with the old microphone. So you do hear the difference, which is a little bit strange because I didn't know it would make that big of a difference, but it does. It's a little bit different and it's a little bit different for me to get used to, but I do hope that you like the sound a lot better. And obviously what you're seeing when you're looking like the lighting and everything as well too. Now I can't change the sounds my clips make or my scissors or my machine or hardware. Unfortunately, those are sounds that those items make and I can't change that. However, I do hope the other sounds that some people were saying they didn't like that they were hearing has been rectified with the microphone. You can't really hear Buddy purring anymore, which makes me a little bit sad. But again, I do hope that you still like all the sound that you're hearing and you'll like what you're seeing when you look at the camera and the tutorial, sorry. And I hope you enjoy them. I think this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me because again, I've got to adjust to how the lights are. I got to adjust to the microphone and be more conscious of the time. So I know when this is going to die to be able to get it switched out because even though it lasts eight hours and that would normally be long enough if you look at the length of my tutorials, I don't film all in one sitting. I will film for a little bit, stop, go, you know, sometimes nap or go do something or go away because I physically can't sit for that length of time. And sometimes I have to film over, you know, a couple or a few days. So sometimes I do one day and then I come back and I film the next day and then I'll come back and film another day. 
so it just depends on where I'm at physically and how I'm feeling. Unfortunately, I can't just do it all at once. So that means my microphone does need to last longer than eight hours. So it's good that I have the two because one can be charging while I'm using the other. And I'm wondering if Buddy will show the trick for everybody. So Buddy, sit. Buddy, sit. Buddy, sit. Buddy, sit. Sit. She's not going to do it, of course. Sit. Buddy, sit. You got to sit. Sit on your bum. She doesn't want to. Okay, you're going to shake a paw at least? You're going to shake a paw? Good girl. You're going to give me five? Good girl. So she'll do that, but she won't sit. So this is how it's going to look. This is how it's going to sound. I really do appreciate all of you who follow and subscribe and support me. Yes, shake a paw. Now she won't stop. Who follow and support me. And I appreciate all the comments. And I just, I love seeing and hearing that you've made a bag using my tutorials. That's the whole reason why I do these tutorials is because I love to teach and I love sharing my love and knowledge of sewing. So I really appreciate everything and I appreciate all the love and support. And I hope you'll continue to follow me and see what else I have coming up next. I'm slowly trying to make these little improvements because as I mentioned before, I do film these all for free. So I have to work within a budget and I have to be very careful because I don't want to spend a whole lot of money because as I said, I do this for free. So I don't want to be spending a whole lot of money. But these little improvements like the lighting and the microphone, I hope it does help and you enjoy the tutorials a lot more. And sounds that you were finding maybe annoying before, you won't hear them anymore and this will help. So thank you everybody for watching this and for supporting me and following me and you know loving my videos and watching them. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll continue. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy sewing. Bye now.